Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Davis. A community in central Minnesota is mourning the loss of two high school students who were killed in a car crash this weekend. It happened Saturday morning at a rural intersection in Comfort Township. That's near Mora and in Kanabic County. The sheriff's office says the crash involved two vehicles. Two teenagers in one of those cars died. This is a Snapchat photo of the two victims. The school district says they were students at Bram High School. Alexis Hasser was a senior and Gavin Butenhoff was a junior. And this is where family and friends are gathering right now. WCCS Jeff Wagner is there learning more about these students. Jeff? Good evening, Angela. Yes, from 4 to 7 o'clock tonight, the school district is using the high school as a place for students to come together to get counseling if they need it or just grieve together. We've heard a lot of tears since we've been here, of course, so much pain. Uh, we actually just finished talking with Gavin's sister, who, of course, twin sister, who's absolutely devastated at the loss of her brother. She says she was really looking forward to March 20th. That would have been their 17th birthday that they were going to celebrate together. We visited the crash site earlier this afternoon. Two crosses hang from a tree near an area where we found debris and car parts. There's also paint markings from investigators as well as skid marks near the intersection of 195th and Rainbow Street. Investigators have yet to release, though, how the crash happened. Gavin's sister said she woke up Saturday with a bad feeling, like part of her was missing. When she heard news of a bad crash on social media, she said she just knew it was Gavin and his girlfriend, Alexis. Now, Alexis, Gavin was new to the school district, but Alexis has been a part of this district since she was in kindergarten. So she's been playing sports with the same teammates going up from her early childhood till now being a senior, a senior class that has only 51 students. So right after this, we're actually going to talk with one of Alexis's friends to learn how she'll be remembered. We also talked with the superintendent and we'll have all that for you new tonight at 10 o'clock. All right, just heartbreaking. Thank you, Jeff.